All right, YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Jerese back at it with another episode of Real Talk. And today's topic the mass shooting in Philadelphia that claimed the lives of five people. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, I know, another mass shooting in the year 2023, right? Who would have thought? But first, let me start off by saying. I was wrong and um, let me apologize to you white people so white people I'm sorry that I tried to pin this mass shooting on y'all so yeah I'm sorry but give me a round of applause for being able to admit I'm right <laughs> yeah I was wrong I will admit I was wrong 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 but I want you to take a look at this because when I read this initially it says, a man accused of opening fire on a Philadelphia street and shooting seven people Monday was arrested by officers near the scene of the attack. Kim Brady character, 40, is accused of killing five adults and wounding two children, reportedly wearing body armor, carrying an AR variant rifle while using a police scanner and ABC6 reports. So reading all that, right, he had the uh, AR-15... He had the police scanner. I was like, oh my God. Wow. There's no way this is a black man because guess what? Black people aren't generally this smart and aren't this prepared to do crimes, generally speaking. But nonetheless, nonetheless, I want you to take a look at this individual right here, right? So this is the individual. So handsome man beautiful woman right now keep these keep these images in your head keep these images in your head I'm, I'm gonna get back to it later I'm gonna get back to it later because everybody's trying to figure out what the motive was even though it's pretty basic but we'll we'll get into it we'll get into it don't even worry about it don't even worry about it oh and uh hey uh shout out to the live stream last night <laughs> <laughs> I title it, Do Not Watch, if you're easily offended. So, yeah, it's me being ignorant. So, not my usual professional content. But, anyway, let's take a look at the news clip. Tuesday night, I'm Shari Williams. Gray Hall is off tonight. The big story on Action News is the latest developments on the mass shooting in Philadelphia's King Sessing neighborhood. As the investigation into this senseless tragedy continues, we are beginning to learn more about those who were killed. Action News reporter Bob Brooks live for us now at police headquarters with what we know this evening. Bob. Shari, five killed. They were all males and they had friends, family. I can tell you people what? who love them dearly. Tonight we spoke with the mother of a victim. She wants no time to be wasted in getting justice from this killer. These are the names of the five victims. They range in ages from 15 to 59. All males. What? Uh, <laughs> just reading that, I can tell it's all black males, too. <laughs> Dijon, Lashid, Demir. <laughs> Come on, black people. We got to do better with these names. One of them is 22-year-old Lashad Merritt. We spoke with his mother, Marie, today, who says he was her baby. Oh, God. If you're going to be on camera, take the headscarf off, please, ladies. <laughs> no bonnets, no headscarves. Like, good Lord. And then, bro, you need to hit the gym. Like, bro, you need to hit the gym. You look like you about to die of high blood pressure and diabetes as we speak, bro. You need to get your shit together. The youngest of five. The youngest, the brightest. He was good. He was a good kid. He was. And I'm going to miss him so much. Sources tell Action News. The Take a look at this. Keep this image in your mind because I'm going to tie it all back together later. Ledge killer is 40-year-old Kim Brady Carriker. It's believed this security video shows part of the beginning of the rampage. The shooter firing at an SUV with a rifle at the corner of 56th Street and Chester Avenue. At a news update today, Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner said he hopes Carriker will spend the rest of their life in prison. But I can tell you and then notice the news is still trying to play the pronoun game. Their life? No, you hope he spends the rest of his life behind bars. We're not playing the pronoun game. You don't get the luxury of being called the they, them, she, her, 
whatever you want to get called after you did this atrocity. You don't get that privilege. I'm sorry, you're a piece of shit, and I hope you burn in hell. Oh! You this, the man who did this is in custody. The man who did this will be facing multiple counts of murder. And will Thank you. The man who did this will be facing time. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Larry Krasner, for being a logical male. Thank you. I appreciate it, bro. We'll also be facing uh, multiple counts of aggravated assault as a first-degree felony, weapons charges, among others. The attack began around 8.20 last night. The scene encompasses a whole city block. Detectives say the suspect moved on foot shooting until responding officers cornered Carriker in the 1600 block of Fraser Street and made the arrest. Again, I commend these officers for their unwavering bravery. That weave is ridiculous. Their swift actions undoubtedly saved additional lives. That shit looked like a bird nest. Detectives also believe this was all planned out. Character was armed with a rifle, a handgun, bulletproof vest, and a scanner. However, they say it appears the victims were shot at random. Despite what investigators may uncover as a motive, Marie Mary just doesn't understand what could compel someone to do this. Some I know what could compel someone to do this, especially a black male, but we're not going to talk about that. Maniac. Well, actually, we are just at the end of the video. Walking around, just shooting, shooting, shooting. For what? We, would, we probably would never know why, you know, but. Oh, trust me. Watch my channel, like, share, and subscribe, and you'll know why. You took my son. You, you took my baby. But as a result, she says, they'll have to face justice. You need to rot. You need to rot in jail. You know, you need to, because that was wrong. Okay, Shari, I know everyone is anxious for the next steps in the judicial process for this. Character's arraignment is tomorrow. That's when formal charges will be announced. The district attorney expects they will not get bail. It's not As they shouldn't. Why would you give this idiot bail? Like, literally, if he got bail, it will literally just show, hey. <laughs> It would show how bad our freaking justice system is if this individual got bail. Like, you would not be able to deny it. Like, these people would literally have no choice but to get out of the city. Like, come on now. In Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner is calling the mass shooting random, premeditated, and deliberate. Jeff, what else are you learning? Well, not only did Larry Krasner and his prosecutors say that the alleged shooter in this case was acting more and more agitated in the days leading up to the alleged attack, but that he was seen in the house wearing a bulletproof vest and in his hands the gun alleged to have been used Monday night. In the Salt and Light Church of Southwest Philadelphia, the sisters of 31-year-old Joseph Wama speak of their brother, slain Monday in the mass killing in King Sessing that shocked this violence-weary city. One sister speaking directly to the accused killer. You shot yourself, Jasmine. Just try to calm down. I know it's hard. We, we I know. nothing but anger. It's nothing but anger. I'm sorry. You killed the wrong person. The gap. I do feel bad for these people because they lost a loved one unnecessarily. But this speaks to a larger problem we have in society as, as a whole, right? Because look at this situation. You have, I'm going to go back to it. You have this male who, by the way, has their natural hair, which is crazy because a lot of the females, <laughs> a lot of the females in the black community have less hair than this man, but we won't talk about that. But anyway, you have this male who's going around masquerading as a woman, and let's, let's just, let's just, I'm gonna I'm just keep it, I'm gonna just keep it simple. You got this ugly dude who's going around, probably can't get no females for whatever reason. He's probably weird, he's probably crazy, he's probably an unhinged leftist, vote blue no matter who. So he's probably out and about not getting chicks or whatever the case may be, right? Sexually frustrated, right? Incel, that's what they call him on the internet, right? So you got this dude who can't get late. So he decides, eh. Well, maybe I'll just become a woman, and then maybe dudes will fuck with me. And then he becomes an ugly woman, and guess what? Women, or sorry, men do not want to mess with him. The men that he thinks that he would get do not want him as masquerading as a woman. So now, he's double sexually frustrated. He's a super incel. He's like a Super Saiyan 2 incel. So now, 
He's upset with the political climate of the country, Trump bad, white men bad, blah, blah, blah. So now he has all this pent-up aggression from being sexually frustrated for so long. He's mad at the way the country's going, you know, with Biden not forgiving student loans and the white man's always keeping him down. So eventually, this individual snaps, decides to go on a shooting spree. Let's just keep it a buck. This is literally because this is a sexually frustrated individual. I know black people. I know black men. I know the number one thing on 99.9% .9 of black males' minds is sex. Let's just keep it all the way 100. So, super double sexually frustrated male, can't get women, can't get men, decides to go on a shooting spree. That's what we should title this. But gathering in the church was called by DA Larry Krasner, whose prosecutors say a search of accused killer Kim Brady Carricker's home turned up live rounds of ammunition matching the weapon he's alleged to have used in the slaughter, killing five. Along with a handgun, they found a will written on June 23rd but would not speak on its contents. They did say the 40-year-old's housemates believe he was unraveling in the days before the shooting. And then he's 40 years old living with housemates? Are you serious? Like at 40 years old, you should have your own place, your own car, you should be well off financially at 40 as a man, but you know, this is a bum, highly uneducated, but <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they had a, I'm sure they had a college degree, you know, a nice job that paid them like, you know, maybe 70K, you know, I'm sure they went to work every day. <laughs> I believe they thought he was getting more and more agitated as the days were passing. And they sexually frustrated. Their way of dealing with it was just to avoid it and not um, interfere with him, even though they all lived in the same house. In fact, mm, okay, just because you live in the same house as this crazy individual don't mean that if you see them with a bulletproof rifle and a gun that don't mean I'm about to try to do something because guess what? They probably gonna shoot me. <laughs> Investigators say the housemates report Carriker would walk around wearing a bulletproof vest and carry the AR-15 military style weapon he's believed to have used in the rampage. Investigators... And none of them called the cops beforehand and was like, hey yo, we got this uh, crazy person inside our house that's walking around with a bulletproof and an AR. Just, just chill. Oh, wait, hold on. No snitching. <laughs> Forgot about that. That's uh, black culture right there. No snitching. So, in my mind, you walking around with a bulletproof and an AR in the house, yeah, I'm probably going to call the cops. Sorry, not sorry. Call me a coon. Call me a sellout. Whatever you want. Nah, nah, nah. I'm good say he posted threats on social media and although identifying as male has been pictured wearing women's clothing prompting threats aimed at trans women they are not killers they are the most vulnerable to violence they want to live their lives and they have every right to do posting threats to trans women that makes no sense because going by this right here you would assume that they are a trans woman so how are you on social media saying um, violent threats to trans women when essentially you were one? It's neither here nor there. Do so. The DA says the investigation is ongoing as character is charged and the families more. One thing I really love and admire about him, he, he had a great sense of humor. Do not try to give this person any kind of grace this person was a piece of shit they deserve what they oh my god they actually deserve to be dead like i'm not okay with the fact that now they're going to be locked up with three hots in a cot at the expense of the american taxpayer i'm not okay with that we need to put him down like a freaking dog the way he put down those five individuals let's be honest we need to stop with this whole um yeah uh we need to just uh block them up and have them suffer no 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 and i'm just we need to put these people down like the animals they are, and we need to relieve the taxpayers of the burden. But we can't do that because private prisons make money. So they'll put him in a private prison just so they can continue to make money off of him, even though he is literally the worst representation of a society. 
but that's neither here nor there. Just waiting for him to say, hey, this is a prank, but it's just like, it's hard to wake up from this. Now, public officials are... Oh, maybe they were talking about one of the deceased individuals. Hopefully they were talking about one of the deceased individuals. Urging the, the residents of this city, the public, that if they see somebody acting in a dangerous way, which they believe this man was, if they see posts on social media that they think are threatening, they ask the public to call them, to alert them, but they seem to understand the inherent fear in all of that. In Southwest Philly, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. They could have easily left the house, went around the block. Hey, uh, 911, um, yeah, I got a crazy nigga in my house walking around with an AR and an assault rifle. I mean, an uh, AR and a bulletproof. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I'm just letting you know. He probably going to do something. So, yeah, just let it be known that if y'all don't arrest him and something happens, this is on y'all because this is recorded. But, you know, black people don't believe in snitching because, you know, if you snitch, that, that you ain't a real nigga. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you ain't a real nigga if you call the cops. You know what I'm saying, homie? Like, niggas want to call the cops when it's too late, even though it's crazy. Because last time I checked, um, what happened to no justice, no peace, F these racist police? Yeah. Wow. So black people hate the police right up until the point to where they need the police. It's crazy. But I, I, <laughs> I've already said my piece. Just remember, doubly, sexu <laughs> doubly sexually frustrated individual or double sexually frustrated individual who can't get chicks, can't get men, decides to go on a shooting spree because they are frustrated that they literally can't get sex from either gender because... You an ugly dude, you an ugly er female, and you're probably just a piece of shit human individual, like a human being in general. So let's just call it for what it is. And now we have five people dead because the people that he lived with believe in no snitching. Like literal pointless loss of life. Like this could have been avoided if the Negroes that he lived with called the cops. Because how bet you want to bet that his housemates, his roommates, they're probably just his family. He probably was a bum living with his grandma or his mom or something. Or his aunties or his sisters. Let's, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. So this could have been avoided if they would have called the cops. But, you know, black people, we don't believe in snitching. Because, you know, that, that ain't what black people do. That would make you, <laughs> that would make you not black. You ain't a real nigga if you snitch, but. Oh my fucking god. That's all I got for this one, man. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Did I make a little bit of sense? Did I make a lot of sense? Did I make too much sense? Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. And Natasha, I will be texting you later, because we are going to do a live show. So, with that, it's been your boy Jerese back with another episode of Real Talk. I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. I'm out.